Are y'all ready for a first single lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, but before we bring the first single lady, I'd like to let everybody know, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment below. Like and subscribe and comment below. All right? Thank you very much. Fellas, let's give it up for our first single lady. Shout out to the finest game show, man. Hey. All right, right here. All right, who do we have here? Your name and age? Um, my name is Honey, and I'm 34. All right, and Honey, um, what do you do for a living? Um, I actually own multiple LLCs. One of them is a financial literacy company, and my other one is a digital marketing company, and I also own a salon, and I'm also a single mom. Okay. That's All right. All right. Love it. All right. So what is your ideal man? Um, probably someone who understands my schedule and is flexible. Um, someone who's like able to go to the... Um, the club with me, VIP with me, okay. but also do business with me and also be a father, like an improv vibe. Okay. All right. Um, and what would be your ideal date? Um, my ideal date, um, probably just something where he's noticed things that I like and he was very thoughtful and planning it. Okay. What do you like? What is it? What's the information? <laughs> like, it's, 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 you feel me? What's your ideal date? You no, know, maybe she's saying, okay, you know, I'll get to know you. Boom, 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 boom. I'm telling you, man, her proportions, man. Thicker than cold peanut butter. Oatmeal on top of yogurt. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, we love. Okay, so all the men balloon is on. Okay. We all, okay, we have one balloon. Okay, we have two balloons popped. All right, let's go ahead and figure out why they popped the balloon, okay? Okay. Greg, right, you come with me? Come with me. <laughs> All right, right here. All right, who do we have here? Can you mention your name and age and why you popped your balloon? Hello, my name is Kenny, and I'm 25 years old. And uh, the reason why I popped my balloon is because uh, the age difference to start with. Okay. And yeah, and uh, and she's a single. You want trip? It sounds like somebody's stomach is upset. My guy got on the cropped suit with the sleeves gone. That's a cerebral accumulated outfit right there. He's doing his thing with the blended fade. He has a better fade. Keep going to that barber. Come on. And I'm, I, I have no kid. I'd rather have uh, somebody that's a, that I have no kid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any comments regarding to that? I know I respect it. I prefer a man who, like, is ready. Oh, yeah. He has to go through his self discovery journey mm -hmm. and so i wouldn't even want to like waste his time and waste my time it would just be like sex yeah okay i understand <laughs> now um okay so you're saying the age the age difference how old are you 25 25 okay yeah. okay um and so you've never dated anybody older i did okay but yeah but it's just like no, you did. for the time I, I i'm at right now mm -hmm. i wouldn't want to do that right now no not anymore okay all right so you're looking for something serious yeah Okay. All right. I like that. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward and see why he popped his balloon. All right. Can you introduce yourself, name, occupation, and age, and why he popped the balloon? What's up? Uh, it's Amor, 27, and I do a couple other things. I ain't going to say what I do, like, as occupation-wise. Mm -hmm. But I popped because, just like like you said, the age gap, and I'm just, I just don't really find you attractive. I'm not saying you ugly or not, but <laughs> that's just about it, for real. All right. Um, I mean, what is your type? You're basically saying that she's not your type? I ain't really got a type. I just, like, when I see somebody, I'm like, I like how they, like, put together. Okay. And I like, just look, you know, attractive to me. But that's about it. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Is he your type? Is he physically appealing uh, to you? No, I probably would go with a more, like, men who I can put in a suit and I can bring, you know, like, in business with me, like, okay. or, like, you know, work out in the gym is more, like, hefty. Like, okay. like I would, you look like, Trippy Red. I would never go for Trippy Red. I don't look nothing like Trippy Red. I think Honey is tripping. She needs some glasses or something. So I don't know what she's talking about. For, for. Now, you don't look like Trippy Red, but you look like you used to do musically on occasion. You know, 2017, you know, the musically ad before it was TikTok, you look like a brand ambassador. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you look like a, a, a Forever 21 and it's Prime model. You know, they used to get the, the, the dudes who just take pictures like this. You know, look up old Forever 21 ad campaigns. 
with the beads, the, the 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 jerseys with the big characters on them, uh, 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 Elmo emoji sweatpants. That's when the NASA stuff. I used to I used to dislike that collection, that NASA. And then when Balenciaga picked it up, I said, "Yeah, the people's crazy. Anything NASA clothing, it, it, it's 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 not appealing in my opinion. You know, do whatever you gotta do. You know what I mean." I, who am I? You know, I got my own sense of style that people be roasting me all the time. People get it. Some people don't. Hey, peace. It is what it is. But on me. Oh, the guy who looks like Trippy Red. He has all those tattoos. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with Trippy Red. I'm just saying, personally, I'm not attracted to a man with painted nails and tats on their face. And I like a more cleaner look. But I would go more for like... Michael B. Jordan. Okay. I'm like, okay. You, I can't wear a suit. Sorry. I can't wear a suit? Um, you can't wear a suit. But, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen you in one. I just see you like this. No, I don't think Honey is getting anybody like Michael B. Jordan. It's not a lot of him walking around, but I don't want to seem like a hater. She might, but who knows? Okay. I feel it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Let's, let's come back. We have some more pops here. All right. So, we have one pop here. All right, can you introduce yourself, your name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Luke, 40, Mount Kisco, New York. The only reason I popped is I know I'm not a Michael B. Jordan type. <laughs> so I know it kind of kind of blew me out the water, so I, mean, I, I eliminated myself. I didn't say Michael B. Jordan's just in reference to his physical appearance. Um, Michael B. Jordan is actually um, an inspiration. He's done great black empowerment, like movies. He like is very business oriented. He wanted marriage. He wanted a stable home. He wasn't like just out here with all these women. So he has a great head on his shoulder and he works out and he takes care of himself. You can tell he has self love. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Cool. I mean, apart from that, uh, is he your type? Oh, definitely. Most okay. definitely. All right. Uh, he, is he also your type? Um, I don't know. I think that he gives no, me like, no. he gives me, um, like he has depths to his soul. So I would probably like spend hours talking to him and conversing with him to pick his brain. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Okay. All right. So it's unfortunate. Of course, he popped his balloon. Two people popped their balloon. Three people popped the balloon. We still have three balloons on. And so at this moment, we'll give you the opportunity to ask a question. And with that question that you ask, we'll go down the line and get an answer. Based on the answers, we're going to go ahead and eliminate. All right. So do you have a question prepared for these three gentlemen? Um, okay, the first question is, do you have a relationship with God? Okay, All right, let's go down. Your name, age, occupation, and answer. My name is David Mendoza from Hoboken, New Jersey, and I'm a truck driver. And um, I do have a spiritual sense in my sense, but do I go to church every day? I don't. That's one thing I don't. But I do believe in God. Do you have any comment? Um, I'm allowed to ask another question. No, just, just that <laughs> one question. But do you have any comments to say regarding his answer? No, I have no comment. Okay. All right, we're going to go down. Thank you very much. All right, same name, age, occupation, and answer. Hi, I'm Jose. I'm a truck driver as well. I'm also from Hoboken, New Jersey. Um, honest, I got a spiritual relationship with God. I don't go to church all the time. I go a few times a year. I come from a religious household. I'm not going to lie. I was raised on the values and everything like that. But am I the correct person to go to church every week? Not true, but uh, you know the values is important to me. You know. So what I would say is I noticed that with both gentlemen, you guys keep referencing church, and I believe that a relationship with God has nothing to do with a building. Well, in that case, and yes, I have a strong relationship with God, and I can't. One hundred percent right. Though, when two or more is on one accord, God is in presence. You feel me? That's why it's always great to fellowship. You know what I mean? Of course, the church is a building. It's just a building because you got churches that's built up. Ain't the spirit of God up there, ain't up in there. Whole bunch of quarrelsome energy, envy. The leaders is leading, the blind, the blind leaders is leading the, 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 the congregation. You know what I'm saying? So it's true. You know, of course, the church, the, the actual building, you feel me, is, will never, you know, it's, it's, it's just because you don't go to church, I mean, you can't build a relationship. But it is amazing to be in a in an atmosphere where like minded individuals, you know, come and, and, and share the you know, share it, you know, share the word, you know what I mean? And that's what it's you know, fellowship. It's a fellowship, which is dope, you know what I mean? But I mean, that's why I like going every Sunday. 
like 90% of the year I'm there. Like, not 90% of the year. Like, 90% of Sundays I'm there. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like a reset. It's, re it's refreshing. Hey, the church ain't got nothing to do with God and me. Exactly, man. That's my right hand. Exactly. <laughs> That's my right hand, too. <laughs> All right. Love it. Let's go ahead and go down. Same thing. Name, age, occupation, and um, answer. Uh, name is Teddy, uh, 34, um, a certified ethical hacker. Basically, I work in cybersecurity. Um, I grew up very religious, uh, Pentecostal. Um, again, I, I understand the whole church then. Um, I, I agree with what you said as far as, you know, the Bible it says where two or more are gathered, God is present. You know, I, I don't practice it every single day. I do that's believe crazy. in God and Christ and all that stuff. So um, I don't know if that's enough for you. But I would say I'm more spiritual versus religious. That makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's come back. Let's come back, gentlemen. There's a lot of crosses on his pain. They made Chrome hard. Them Jerome's broken up. <laughs> Them Jerome's broken heart. And then they chrome heart, my flat. When you got designer jeans, right, that's, 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 that's released. And you got these deep hop or like, like DH gate type jeans that, I mean, stay away. Just go to classic, classic silhouettes, man. Regular 501 Levi's, vintage. You know what I mean? You ain't got to, the, 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 the crosses on it. But you can tell he probably just saw them and liked them. You know, you got people like that who don't even be up on game. It's like the dude next to him. You know, them, them, are, them, them are not who decides war. Nah, them are them, them not who decides war. You know what I mean? You can tell that's a brand who was inspired and end up, you know. Oh, my bad. Let's come back, gentlemen. Thank you very much for your answers. Um, so now, based on their answers, we're going to need you to pop one balloon, all right? Can I please get your pen? Go ahead and pop one balloon. She gonna pop Based on, and give us a reason why you popped that one balloon, all right? She gonna pop the, the first one. That's some fucked up, okay? I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very disappointed. I mean, that, that threw me off, you know, with the whole spiritual thing. What I meant to say is I'm in tune with my religion. I just don't practice it as much. But I think she kind of took it as demons and voodoo and I, I was like no but you know I, I guess it is what it is but i was yeah all right so let's figure out why did you pop his balloon because i'm like a cat i'm very intuitive and i sense like you know like i don't practice witchcraft or black magic or anything that has to do with like um forcing my energy like upon others so like I have to say no, even though you're very handsome. We what? have different beliefs in the spiritual realm. I look. What? What is that? Right. I feel you, Missy Mama. It's like, you know, like I don't practice witchcraft or black what magic. Did she say? Pop his balloon. Because I'm like a cat. I'm very intuitive. And I sense like. You know, like, I don't practice witchcraft or black magic or anything that has to do with, like, um, forcing my energy, like, up on others. So, like, I have to say no, even though you're very handsome, we have different beliefs in the spiritual realm. I looked into Teddy's energy personally, and I saw that he was not respecting other people's spiritual boundaries. And what? so... Obviously, that's not something that you can physically see, but that's the gift that I was blessed with. And so I personally chose not to entertain it. Uh so how are you a base single mom? See, people be so, what's the name? Oh, you can tell spirits. You didn't peep that with, with your boy? You didn't peep that with your boy? You, you didn't pick that up? You, you didn't pick that up, bro. You didn't pick that up. Even though he, I, don't, I don't see what she's talking about. I don't, I, don't, I don't see what she's talking about. Maybe I miss some. If I miss some, all right. You got all this game, all, it, it, you know. It, it's true. God can bless you with gifts, but, but you didn't. You didn't peep that. You didn't. You didn't peep that. You didn't peep that. I mean, I don't know, man. Um, I just felt like that when he was speaking in general on his spirituality, like that maybe some of the things that he was accustomed to weren't rules that um I abided by in my spiritual tribe. Okay. Where did she get that from? Wait, what did all he right. say? We have to go back. 
a certified ethical hacker. Basically, I work in cybersecurity. Um, I grew up very religious, uh, Pentecostal. Um, again, I, I understand the whole church then. Um, I, I agree with what you said as far as, you know, the Bible it says where two or more are gathered, God is present. You know, I, I don't practice it every single day. I do believe in God and Christ and all that stuff. So um, I don't know if that's enough for you. But I would say I'm more spiritual versus religious. If that makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's the same thing these two fellas said. He actually brought up Christ and said some scripture. And you said, what? What did you pick up? That's why you're getting chose. That's why you're here. That's why she's here. I mean, that, that threw me off. I took it as pop his balloon. Because I'm some, we think other people's spiritual boundaries. And so. He didn't respect I, your spiritual boundaries. I don't even want to. Obviously, that's not something that you can physically see, but that's a gift that I was blessed with. No, you, and no, so I personally. No, no, no. Um, I, I believe that there's God and mm -hmm. then God created many gods in his reflection to rule over different parts of the land and places and Where? i believe that we're all here on a journey to discover our why do you believe no see you're the one not him he said christ he believed in christ god didn't create no other guy. what where okay yeah. personal power and who we choose to be and represent in this realm or maybe another one you say right. he, you need okay, to look so, in the mirror um, unfortunately what? we have one pop so we have these two gentlemen that still have the balloon. What? Let's figure out if they have some more questions for you. And based on their questions, um, there will be an elimination. All right. All right. Do you have any questions for her? Do you see yourself in five years? Um, in five years, I want to have a farm. Yeah, I want to have a farm. I want to have multiple lands. I want to take my businesses I opened in Jersey and turn them into a franchisee in Atlanta, Houston, and L.A., and I want to have land with a garden and maybe a son, too. A son, so that means you have a daughter? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm. That pretty much answers the question I'm going to ask. Uh, how many kids you got? I have two daughters. Two daughters? Mm -hmm. I'm just... I've been experienced with one kid before and been in a stepfather situation. I think two is a little much for me. You know, it's not my... Preference, but my pal say you know. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. That's why I work so hard. <laughs> All right. Let's come back. Let's come back. All right. So we still have one balloon on. I think we there, this this could potentially be a match here. So can you come here next to me to my side? All right. So this could be a potential first match here. But uh, do you have any questions for her? Any last minute questions? Are you catching me with all the questions. Um, <laughs> to be honest. Do you see yourself getting married or have you ever been married before? Um, I, was, I was married and I was divorced. And I do see myself getting married again because um, there's way too many STDs out here. That's so I'm like, just no. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What about you? Do you have any questions for him? Um, do you have any kids? I have two. Okay. I have a boy and a girl. Oh, lucky. I have both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No other questions? No. no. Last minute question. All right. So, do we have? Do you have a match here? It's up to her. She's a lady. Okay. Do you have a match here? I think we have a match. All right. So we have our first match. Yeah, we have our first match. I knew someone was all right, and she confused me when she walked out. She said she's a single mom and looking for a man that don't mind going to the club with her. That's where they'd be like, "Turn me off, pop." Like, uh, 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 you're a single mom. We don't have time for the club. We got to get things together. You know what I mean? I went to the club one time, overrated. 23 years old. I had a good time, but it was overrated. It was, it, I had a good time because it wasn't my money. Shout out to my boy. You feel me? He was, he was celebrating one of his homies. Told me to pull up. It was already, everything was lit. Not gonna lie. It was fun, but overrated. Four grand for a section. You gotta get bottles. Each bottle be like 500. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, I've been to one time. That was 2022. And I haven't been to the club since. It's over. I'm cool, bro. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? So they be 30 years old, 34 years old. I don't know how old she's not, it's not saying her age, but people be in their 30s. If you're not, look, it's my thing. I get the influences, right? Typical, this is probably one thing I'll be like, I, I can see where y'all be on my head about, right? If you're going to go get a bag, like that's your job, like you do hostings, people make living off of that, I can see why it's tempting to do it. You go in there and walk through 10 grand, that will have fun. 40 grand, 50 grand. Some people will do walkthroughs for 80 to 100 grand. 
to get it lit. You know what I'm saying? I could see why it's tempting. But to be there, popping bottles, four, five grand a section. You got some sections where it's 10 grand a pop. 10 grand a pop. To have act, to do something you could do for $300 at the crib with a group of people, it's crazy. But that's the same reason why people shop designer. I'm accustomed to that. People, you can go get the same pair of jeans, probably $50, but you like this. This is what you like. So, I mean, hey, you don't make it right, but I, I mean, she said 30, single. All right, all right. So, you can go ahead and take your single lady yeah. with you, all right? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, miss, make some noise. Make some noise for him. Yeah. Take her away. <laughs> all right. Okay. She basically took the words out of my mouth, to be honest, to go out a little bit more, get to know her a little, a little bit more than what we got the option to do today. Other than that, hopefully we're, we hit it off like we did today. All right. I love it. Love it. We have our first notch here, all right? I go ahead and hug it out. You know, I'm speaking look cute. Ooh, okay. All right. All right, fellas. Let's give it up for our next single woman. <laughs> Ow. Right, right here. All right, who do we have here? Your name, age, and occupation. Asian dog. My name is Ecstasy. I'm 35. I'm a model, a video model, an actress. Okay. So All right, love it. Um, what are you looking for here? Um, I'm looking for a man who's definitely like doing something with themselves and having like like kind of like similar to the same occupation I'm doing as far as like in the industry of you know what I'm doing of like music videos or like videography or whatever and um you know just doing just a guy doing their thing that's it okay yeah. all right do you do you believe in going 50 50 with your man yeah I do believe that okay. I believe doing 50 50 okay all right so 50 50 brought into bills dinner Stuff like that. What a bro, I, bro. I, I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Men disliking a woman who going fifty fifty. I swear. Say again. Let's like fifty fifty regarding to di um, bills, dinner. Bills. Can you give an example? I would say bills, um, dinner, and all. Like they're gonna do that, but like. Bills as far as, like, if we living together, then, yeah, like, we could do 50-50 on that. Like, I don't mind that. I'm not one of those girls that's saying, like, you got to do everything. Okay. Wow. Okay, we got some pops for 50-50. All right, yeah, let's 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 see. Pops. Let's go ahead and figure out why they popped to their balloons, all right? Can you talk me here with me? Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, can you introduce yourself, name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Okay, Luke, 40, Mount Kisco, New York. I do cyber security for the government. Retired military. Okay, and why you popped your balloon? The only reason I popped, I don't believe in 50-50. I believe a woman don't respect a man if he has to go 50-50, so I like to take care of everything. Sure. That's the only reason. Okay. You're beautiful, though. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, you know, she said she's willing to do 50-50, but you never had that conversation to figure out if she's open to you taking 100% of, of the commitment. I kind of believe you lose frame. If the woman has to chip in, so that's never been my thing. So why pop it if she doesn't mind doing it? That shows she got some type of like consideration. <coughs> I get the point. I said this before as well. I don't know if I said it on camera, man. I hope you was chopping it up. When a woman is paying bills, and if she's paying, if she's taking care of herself, and your house is a man of the household, she will not respect you. And that's just how I go. Majority, not majority, some, well, majority of today's women, I would say. Because you got women who don't mind the finances. You feel what I'm saying? You got women who don't mind that. They, they will do that and still respect you as a man in your leadership because a lot of them value morality, leadership. You know, what is your, what is your reputation when it comes to good decisions? You know what I'm saying? But the women he's speaking about, it is true. When you're not providing, you know, a certain, you know, level of, financial security for them, they're not going to respect you as a man of the house. So I understand where you're coming from. I just don't, I don't think that justifies the pop though. Like when he's saying, oh yeah, oh, me being a man, I don't want to boo, boo, boo. When she's saying she's willing to do it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if she was more so like, I want to go 50, 50, because I don't want no man to be able to tell me what I can and can't do. That's where I'll be like, wait a minute. 
your motive is you don't feel like you don't want to be led. You know what I mean? Then that's like, all right, I'll pop because that's red flags. But if she got that noble, like, I don't mind taking care of or helping my man out until he get back on his feet, that's where I feel like the disconnect is. But I don't okay, know. I respect you have that. Any comment to that. No, I respect that. I like that. I like that he said that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Um, name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon, please. Jose, uh, 32 years old. I'm a truck driver. Um, basically, I'm going to keep it a bean. First of all, we're going to talk about I'm going to keep it a her name Ecstasy. So first of all, we ain't at a strip club on Tuesday night or Saturday night. This ain't this ain't King of Diamonds <laughs> or none of that. You know, God power to her. I don't like drugs or none of that, but that's just me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Everything you said at the end was great, but when you say you're the video videographer and all that stuff, she no that shit kind of rubbed me the wrong way. The honestly, video. it's not that. It's not you. I've been in a situation. I've been like around the people who deal with industry and stuff like that before. It's just not my speed no more at this older age. Like more, more power to you, and I hope everything happened, but it's just not for me. I love everything else about you. The gorgeous, all these things, don't get me wrong. But for me, that's like at this age, I'm like, she said a video vixen part. As soon as she said that, I immediately thought love and hip hop, and I ain't trying to be with Erica Mena, I ain't trying to be Jim Jones, I ain't trying to do none of that. That's just me personally. More power to her. She wanna do that and do video things and Oh, what I gotta do? That ain't me personally. You know, I ain't just Blaze. I ain't nobody. I'm just me. Um, I mean, it didn't make me feel a way still because at the end of the day, that's what I do. And like, even if like somebody feel like, oh, I wanna, I don't wanna take them to my family because you're a video vixen. I'm still an actress, and they don't know a lot about me. If you watch my movies on Tubi and Amazon Prime, you'll see more about me. <laughs> no, okay. so, no, we won't. We gotta get to know you. What are you doing in real life? Because you got actresses who plays roles that they're nothing like in real life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we got to get to know, I would get, uh, if I was, I would ask her that, like, okay, so what type of videos do you do on the internet? You say you videographer or you're a video fiction, what type of music videos do you participate in? That's all, just ask her questions. Cause you can't you judge a book by its cover. I do that a few times on this channel. Everybody does it subconsciously. You, if, you, if you sit here and tell me you've never judged a book by its cover, I don't want to hear it. You're not. Uh, uh, you're, you're hypocritical, or, or contradict. You can't. Whatever that word is, I'm learning. <laughs> you, you're not telling the truth. But yeah, I would wonder what type of videos do she do, because it's it's different type of video vixens. You got some who just always fully clothed. They look pretty and they just sit pretty. They classy. They on they chilling in the cut type. And then you got some that be on there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Oh, I respect so, that. I respect okay. that. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any comment regarding to that? No. That's, that's his decision. I respect it. Apart from that, is he your type? Physically, all that? Yeah, he definitely is. Okay. All right. I mean, apart from that as well, is he your type? She your nah, type? She's, I said she's gorgeous. I don't know You was my type to the T. It's just that that other stuff. When I was younger, you know, you could push it aside and stuff like that and things. But for me, it's like... I'm good where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. and I appreciate you very much for the compliment. I appreciate it. Okay, let's move forward. <laughs> All right. Name, occupation, and age, and why you popped your balloon? Name is Teddy, 34, from New Jersey. Um, I work in cybersecurity. She's a beautiful woman, gorgeous, nice eyes, nice teeth. She got it all going on. But the neck tattoos, you know, I got to, when I take you home to mom and dad, it's going to be a lot of drama in the house. You know, I don't want to put you in that position. I mean, I'm Ghanaian. I'm from Africa. You know, we don't really have a lot of tattoos. And if you have tattoos, you got to be able to hide it. And number one, her name is Ecstasy. Number two, she got neck tattoos. That's a lot going on with one person. So I'm here. I'm marriage minded. I'm looking for a wife. I mean, when he said that, I mean, I respect it because at the end of the day, I mean, he's probably came from a strict family where they don't. Like, he looked like he's, like, a military type of guy. So, it looked like he don't like all that shit. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> but, hey, I didn't feel a way. That's his preference. You feel me? Uh, I do love her drive. She seems like she's very, very ambitious. Yeah. And I think that's definitely a turn on. But I got to say no to the neck tattoo. She can have it on her body like myself. But for the neck, I just feel like it's a big no for me. Okay. And I respect your decision. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can go ahead and do pop a couple pills. Just don't do it on Sunday. That's the same. You gotta tell you tat it up. And, oh, she got him on her neck. Oh like, yeah, she. <laughs> like, I mean, it be certain reasons. Like, I'm getting you don't have no tattoo. You blasted. He's blasted. His whole arm is blasted. 
He got more tattoos than her, but she decided to put it on her neck. Is this? Again, I mean, apart from the neck tattoos, you're saying he's, she's gorgeous. Definitely the per person that, you know, fit everything that you're looking for, right? <laughs> and I love you. the teeth. What's yourself, name, age, occupation, and why yeah. you pop later on? So I'm Kenny, and uh, I'm an artist. And uh, the reason why I popped my balloon is because of the age difference. I was going to say it out at first, but coming to hear her talk, you know, to the guys and stuff, I just... I think she's not going to, like, I'm younger for her, so I don't think it's going to work for me. I feel like she'll like older guys and stuff. Okay. Yeah. You think she would like older guys? Yeah. Would you like to figure out if yeah, for she sure. would go for somebody younger? All right. You want to ask her? Yeah. Would you go for somebody younger? I don't mind dating a younger guy. Okay. Well. But you pop your balloon. Okay. All right. So, I mean, apart from, you know, that, is he also your type? Um, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. All right. Apart from that as well, is she also your type? Sure. Okay. All right. I mean, again, she... He got that animal that poke people when they in danger haircut. What's that animal name? They poke people when they angry or like when they scared. Like you, dude, the animal try to bite them or something and they... And they, and they, and they, and they and they. Your type, but you pop because you thought that... She yeah. was, you know, going to go for somebody older and she wouldn't yeah. date somebody younger. Yeah. Do you regret popping now because she said that she would go for somebody younger? Not really. Okay. All right. All right. Let's move forward. Okay. All right. Um, name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? What's up? I'm more 27. Um, occupation, I do a bunch, a bunch of stuff, so I'm not even going to get into that. But uh, I just bought my balloon because I don't really find you attractive. I do like the tattoos, the, the smile, you got nice teeth, but I just don't really see any type of attraction there. But I mean, you, you seem cool, so we could be friends or something. Uh -huh. All right, what about you? Do you find him attractive? He sounds like he just did a to be honest. He's stuck in 2015. You could be cool if you want to. Like, bro, these, bro. You can't be friends. I don't, don't want to be nobody friend. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, well, he's all right. <laughs> why, you, why are you laughing? Nah, it's, that's, I just be laughing a lot. It's, it's a... I feel like you have something to say. You like to share? <laughs> feel free. This is just a safe space. I mean, I like how he wasn't attracted to me, but it's cool or whatever. I mean, I'm not, I like a person who got like smooth skin anyway. So like, you know, to have like all the acne and shit, like yeah, I have I'm very, not with that anyway. So it's I cool. I have very sensitive skin. So, I mean, I've had acne for a while. I'm trying to clear it up now. And acne scars is going to be there until yeah, it clear up. Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to go out. Why are you a lot of sugar too? But it's whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about what she said because I'm confident in my skin. And I know I look good. Like she came in here with a pound of makeup on. We can't even see what she really looks like. It's mm -hmm. like stranger danger. Catfish. That was a lot going on on his face. You feel me? Like he had a lot of face acne. So for him to even tell me like I wasn't attractive, I'm like, my guy, did you look in the mirror? You <laughs> mean what you talking about? That was so. You was doing so good. Taking a criticism like boom, 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 and you talk about all that on his face, and you got this. Are you ready to play a game template on yours? Look like Jigsaw came and just gave you his whole makeup routine. Beautiful cheekbones, beautiful structure, but you cannot talk about somebody, something that they can't. Con okay. All right. Um, it's unfortunate you popped the balloon. Um, let's go ahead and move on. back. Got everything going let's on move too. back. Let's move back. Let's move back. All right, so it seemed like all the guys have popped their balloon. Um, unfortunately, you weren't able to find your person here, but um, is, are there any last, last remarks that you'd like to leave here? I mean, um, I'm just happy to, you know, be here. Thank you for having me here. And yeah. it's, uh, thanks for, you know, I meet everybody. And that's it. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, fellas, make some noise for her. Woo! Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for coming. All right, thank you, thank you. Hey y'all, so we have that link, single woman. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's give it up for our next single woman.
All right, right here. All right, can you introduce yourself, your name, age, and occupation? My name is Tajane, and I'm 30 years old, and I'm a tattoo artist. All right, so Tajane, um, what are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers is not having a good sense of humor because I like to laugh a lot. Um, I like to have fun, so that's really like the biggest deal breaker for me. Okay, and what do you look for in a man? Someone fun that um, is understanding and um, likes to have a good time. You know. Okay. Okay. And now, in you know the time that you're in right now, are you looking for something really serious? Are you looking to just build to see where it goes to, or what are you looking for right now? To be honest, what I'm looking for is someone that I feel like can protect me. But I feel like having a really good relationship with someone is hard to find. So I really just go with the flow, and okay. if I feel like it can go somewhere serious then that's when I'll take you serious. Like, when you show me effort, then okay. that's when you can go serious. Okay. All right. Okay. So, we have two balloons that popped. Let's go ahead and figure out why they popped Let's the balloon. Let's find out why. Okay, three. All right. Can you introduce yourself, name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Hi, I'm Jose. I'm 32 years old. I'm a truck driver. Um, honestly, I'm just not feeling the attraction off it. It's no nothing wrong with you. I love your career. I think it's fire. I think all that's cool. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel a spark. Exactly. I think you're very gorgeous. Don't Thank get me wrong. you very much. You don't like my tattoos? No, I think I think it's all is heat. I'm, I'm tatted too. I if you can't tell, but I'm tatted underneath too. Leg, chat, all that. But it just ain't my speed. That's so what. we could be good friends, but yeah, you give me a client, you play your cards right. Yeah, we, you can we can tap my whole friends. body up like whiz. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> all right, love it. Let's go ahead and move forward. All right, all right. Name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Hello, my name is Kenny. I'm 25 years, and I'm a, I'm an artist. And the reason why I popped the balloon is because, um, first and foremost, she's not my type of girl. I like my girl a little bit taller. And uh, she look good to me. Hey, that's them. She look good to me. I need to see the close up though, but she look good to me. She got a little character going though. Summer's Eve, it looked like. What's that thing? Got the leaves, got the look like it's, like it's a safari exhibit. <laughs> Boy, she's a bit more here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a shorty. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, you look beautiful. You look good. You look perfect. But this for my type, my preference, you, you know? Date Steph and Curry, That's what I like. It's just not matching up to what, what I like. Okay. That's the reason why I put my balloon. Okay, how does that make you feel? Do you have any remarks? To be honest, I like my men 6'5 and 200 pounds and up, so it's cool. I feel like Tash was a little bit hurt because she didn't make up to my expectations, which I gave out to her. And uh, she had to, uh, you know, put it back on me to feel like I didn't make up to her expectations. So that's how I feel like it. I always feel like that's not something I would want to start with with somebody I want to be in a relationship or something with, you know? Don't you make that? <laughs> Woo, that boy got old Dolce, that boy got money. He flawed. He go crazy. Okay. So he, he, he don't meet. He don't meet my requirements I don't meet, either. I'm 6'5", we need 200 pounds. What do you mean by that? You, I mean, you 200 you pounds more. and up? What are you saying? Okay, I like but 225. Cool, That's cool, my cool. number right there. Cool. She said she did for a guy that's 6'5". But I'm like, bro, I'm 6'5". I'm 200 pounds. She said she want a guy with 200 pounds and 6'5". I'm like, okay, that's, it's cool, that's me. And as soon as I said that, she said she looking for a guy with 225. I'm like, how? I get that. Like, she how? Really how? She changed the goalposts. She did. Be good. All right, now, apart from that, do you find him attractive? Is he... I mean, he's a you're, you're a handsome guy. I can't Very see sure. your face or your eyes, and I need to see people's eyes in order to figure out. You're all right. You're not, you're not, you know, you're all right. Good. Good for you. You all right, you all right. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Okay. How all right. she look? I need to see We're her. We're going to go ahead and move forward as well. All right, your name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Uh, more 27. I popped it because I just, I'm just not really attracted to you. I do like it. I'm not tripping. I ain't tripping. I picked it up a little bit. I'm not tripping. Everything about you, though, like the glitter, the nope. dress, the shoes, the tattoos, mm -hmm. the hair. You look really pretty. It's just Thank not for you. me. That's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But you like light skin girl? 
I, I like I find the beauty in every like skin color. Okay. I just I just don't see it like here. Okay, line. I just wanted to ask. Being a wrong now, is he also your type? No. He's not your type. Mm -mm. Why why isn't he your type? He's tall, he's handsome, I like the tattoos, I like the swag, but I love I love dreadheads, I love big masculine looking men. I like rough looking men. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well to elaborate, I just feel like She look like a, 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 you know, a gold flake steak, but she, she, she looks pretty good. You know, them gold flake steaks they be doing when the, oh man. Like physique wise, like I'm a fun size girl, but like I feel like we look really good with like men that are big and tall and strong. And I just feel like he is, he, he's, he's tall, don't get me wrong, but he's not like physically fit. He don't look like he could slap a nigga out in one little, Hit. I like, I like them hood looking men. Okay, you said hood. You said hood looking men. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I just like a really rough looking man that look like he could protect me. Like, I like a strong looking guy. Like somebody when I'm walking next to because I know that I get a lot of compliments when I'm out with people, and I just need a man that I know is like secure with himself and can handle me. Like, okay. All right. Any remarks to that? Uh, not really. I mean. Like, I can only protect you from so much. Like, if a gun pop out, then it's just like... Oh, I mean, we do. both better be running if a gun comes, but yeah, I'm just but, saying, like... I mean, no, she cool. No, no, no. <laughs> and to be real, just because they look tough don't mean nothing. The toughest guy get knocked out. The toughest looking guy gets knocked out. Just, uh, I'm roasting, bro. Yeah, we haven't, we're not making content. He probably got hands. He probably do Muay Thai, mixed martial arts. You don't know what he do. I don't underestimate no one. I don't play that. I don't play that, oh yeah, he looks soft. I'm a whoop on him. Man, he give the blues. I'm telling you, like, you better be careful playing people just because of their appearance. Them toughest looking ones be the most scary and with no hands. I'm telling you, him right here, you never know. He probably did, he like 2015 Triller uh, brand exec, but he probably got a cold left hook and a right, right hook, boom, bang. Two piece for your mama. I'm telling you, put you down, stack. I'm telling you, man. You know what I mean? All that rough neck look, man, them be the main one scared. Ain't gonna do a nothing. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I don't underestimate nobody. Uh-uh. Give you a cold front toe kick to the throat. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Okay. All right. That's let's let's alone. come back. Let's come back. Let's come back. Okay, so we still do have two balloons on pots. Um, and so in this situation. We'd we'll love for you to have a question, right? So if you have any question, you can present the question, ask that question, and um, we'll go down, get some answer from them, and based on the answer, we'll eliminate one person, all right? No problem. All right. Um, what is your stance on commitment? What is your stance on commitment? That's one of my main things, commitment. Because my type is you, pretty much, fit, feminine, friendly. Mm -hmm. But the last part of that is loyal. Yeah. So commitment is all about loyalty and if you're into commitment, that's me 100%. Okay. okay. I like All this right. answer. Okay. All right. Let's move forward. Um, I enjoy being in a, in a commitment, a, commi a committed relationship. Uh, I feel like it's the best way to build, grow old with somebody. And knowing that you have someone there for you in times of needs, I think is very, very special. And, you know, just being able to show up for that person. I think when you are in the streets for too long, it gets boring. Yeah. You know, it's, it's different when you're actually waking up to someone that you, you love. You know, so I'm big on commitment. Okay. okay. Well, for one, I like your smile. That's Thank the first you. thing I would like to say. Thank you. All right. I like his answer. That's the second thing I would like to say. Okay. Thank All right. I'm love. Okay. I'm loving this boy. Let's let's come back here. Let's come back. Let's come back. Let's come back. You ready to stand next to um, Now, based on both of the answers, you get to pop one balloon. All right. Can I get your pen, please? Yes, sir. Can I ask them one more question before I pop? Okay. Because I all feel right. like they both had a good answer. All right. Okay. One more, all right? Um, okay. How long have you been single? How long have you been single? That's a good question. Um, my ex, I think we broke up right after the pandemic. So it's been over a year now. A year and some change. About a year. Okay. And for you? Almost a year. Almost a year. Okay. All right. Let's okay. come back. All right. So now you have to pop one balloon. Does Based it have on both. To? Yeah, you have to pop one more balloon and leave one on, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to pop. Uh -oh. All right, and give a reason why you popped his balloon. 
I popped his balloon because I feel like a year and a half is not that long of being, you know, broken up. To I knew she was going to do that. She should have just been honest. Just say you like the other guy better. He said it ain't even been a year yet. The guy in red. So what? 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 His year. His year and a half looks pretty good to that compared to that. Uh, uh, under a year. Tell you, gotcha. What can you say? Gotcha. Be honest. She looks. I, I feel like you need more time to be by yourself. You know, you might still think about this girl, miss this girl, which is okay. But like, you know, I would be a rebound in that sense. Plus, dude in the red shirt, single a short amount of time. So I think she was just trying to be nice, but you know, you know, female, so what can I do? I personally feel like it takes a long time to heal from a relationship. And I would have popped both of my last two contestants if I had the option to, but I popped Luke's because his was, his was the first option. But I feel like a year and a half is not that much time. I could just tell in his face when I said it, that he wasn't over his ex-girlfriend, that he still may have lingering feelings. You look good. Like she looked fire, but I could tell, man. She look fire. This this is if you talking like if you ask me what is my type, what do I go for? Like literally like this type of female. As far as how she looks. You feel me? But that moral code gotta be there. I love a brown, chocolate, you know what I'm saying? If I go light, she gotta be light. I don't know. I don't mind it. As long as you got you some seasoning, I always say that. As long as you got you some seasoning. But if I could build, man, the nice but the small little what's her name go crazy with the shit. Oh man. And she got a cool bit of cola. Oh man. Yeah, it, oh man. So he understands what I'm saying. Yeah, in my opinion, I feel like Taj wasn't genuine. This is proof that hypergamy is real. She upgraded. She wanted a better man. The guy that's also in tech but make more money. That's what really happened. But she gonna say what she said. That's you know, that's females. He ain't lying. But why did you allow your barber to put these tiger scraps in your eyebrows? You 40. This is what I... Tired of your, that's, it is what it is. Respect uh... Okay. All right. So we have one balloon on. And so um, we're going to go down here, uh, figure out if you have any questions for you, okay? Um, so do you have any questions for her? So I do have a deal breaker with the neck tattoos, right? If we were to seriously date, with the potential of getting married, is it something that you probably um, cover up or you know have it taken off? To be honest, I would want my husband to be happy, so I would pick someone that I feel like likes me the way that I am. I feel like you know that's the only way to be happy with someone is if they accept you the way that you are. So I'm not necessarily the person for you. Gotcha. So unfortunately. Okay, so as far as Teddy goes, I just personally feel like I'm not going to change myself for anybody. I feel like, you know, when you meet your, your soulmate, that person is like your perfect match. You're matched because you're perfect for each other already. I should not have to necessarily change myself. You should be the way, like, I just feel like I want someone that likes me the way that I am. And I want someone that I like the way that they are. And if they want to change, it has to be because they want to change for themselves, not because I want to change them. Okay. That's respectful. Okay. All right. All right. So let's come back. Unfortunately, he popped this balloon and it was a mutual agreement as well, regardless of that. Correct? Mm -hmm. All okay. of you guys are nice guys. All right. Y'all are very nice. Um, so again, unfortunately, you weren't able to find a match here. No. But do you have any... I'll give it one more female. Because these do... Last um, remarks. No. <laughs> okay. I fuck well, y'all. Y'all cool. And I hope y'all find a girl y'all looking for because it ain't me. <laughs> okay. All right. Fellas, let's make some noise for her, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Dang. Uh, okay. All right. Um, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Name, age, occupation? I'm Malaysia. Um... 29 Whoa. and i am a bartender and a model okay they looking up at her like like the top of the golly she about seven nine yeah hey, oh boy six five so i like them taller do you got what you wish for dang I wouldn't be able to be with her.
Cause it's like when she, it's like if, if we have an argument and she asks me, it's like I'm taking a shower when she talk. She's a giant. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Malaysia, what is your your type? Um, nice dress. Um, polite, generous. Okay. And um, I'll also know. I would like to also know what are your deal breakers, non-negotiables. Um, cheap. Okay. Not polite. Um, body odor, stink. Funky, you know, funky. stuff like that. Okay. All right, that's good. All right. She got to sit down the bed. <laughs> still be on. She got to sit down in the shower. Okay. So we got two balloons that pop. Let's go ahead and figure out why they pop the balloon. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's move forward. Okay. All right. So we can start from here. All right. Can you introduce yourself, name, age, occupation, and why you pop the balloon? Name is Teddy, 34. Um, work in cybersecurity. She's gorgeous. She's just way too tall for me. And I can't, I'm not sure if I can carry you. No, you do look good, but you're just way too tall. It's a deal breaker. Wait, you said you're not sure if you can carry her? Yeah, because she's, she's tall. Okay. All right. I think you can carry her. You're uh, I don't deadlift. I, I, I bench, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to carry her. Okay. All right. How do you feel about that? Um, He's not confident without himself. So, mm. I mean, he seems... Uh, it ain't that he ain't confident, nigga. You tall as the basketball court. What do you mean? You look fresh. You look. You look ready to hoop. You look ready. You look, you look ready for people to hoop. Uh, you look. You look taller than a hoop. Than a hoop. You eight feet. It ain't about confidence, nigga. You big. Like nigga, ain't even no me, nigga. You a big man. That's a nah. That's that's like masculine. Like you, you got like, but like it ain't even like six three. Like a female, I don't know. A female, you're set. I see like she's six eight. If he's six five, she like seven feet. If dude with this, with this, with with, with the little what's her name, with the Dolce Gabbana, if he's six five, she gotta be seven feet. I ain't trying to walk in with 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 you know what I mean? I ain't trying to walk in with Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Yeah. Is he your type? No. Oh. No. Um, I do love his skin color. I just don't like the way he's dressed. Um, he's look kind of older. So, um, I don't know. I like a cute face. <laughs> you, you, know? you like a cute face? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by a cute face? Yeah. Was what do you okay, mean by a cute okay, face? Okay, Kareem. Like, Teddy has beautiful oh, teeth. Hey. But <laughs> no, she, nah, man. I'm cool, man. I'm cool, man. But, um, his face was giving, he'd been through a lot. <laughs> What's yours get? Huh? What's yours get? You know everybody else get what yours get. He been through a lot. So what's yours get? <laughs> wow. Very uh, older, wiser man. Like she looks like Scotty Pippen. <laughs> she, you know. Hey, how do you know this? He's like been Scott through a lot Pippen. of years in his life. I mean, I was definitely very disappointed. I consider myself medium ugly. So I think I do pass the test when it comes to the scale of, you know, rating. So, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, I think because she's, she's too tall, I think maybe she took that very personal. But I, I think, she, of course, she's beautiful. But I, I consider myself medium ugly. He's not cute? No, not to me. Sorry. It's okay, Scotty. Well, I mean, she's gorgeous. She's just nice nah. teeth. I love thank your teeth. You, thank you. Amazing. I do love your nose piercings. Thank I think. you. Again, thank I love you. your tattoos. You are gorgeous. Thank you. Like I love your energy, your passion. Just to hide me. Yeah. Know? Yeah. A lot of guys is insecure, so totally I understand. You're saying you're insecure and you're big as the damn door. Like, what are you talking about? Why are you saying insecure? Just because you're not someone's preference, don't make them insecure. That's crazy to me. A girl tell me, oh yeah, I don't like I don't like dudes with gaps in their teeth. Oh yeah, she's just insecure. 
You big as Magic Mountain. And you talking about insecure. Man, call me what you want, shoot. Sure. Thank you. All right. I mean, um, also, I would like to know, do you, would you mind dating a guy that's shorter than you? There's no problem for me. Okay. All right. Love it. So let's go down and figure out why he popped his balloon as well. All right. Um, name, age, occupation, and why he popped his balloon. I'm more 27. I popped because I'm just not attracted to you. Yeah. You look really pretty, though. Uh, I just didn't find her attractive. She's pretty, but just not for me. Like, I like everything about her, like the height, the tattoos, everything looked good. Just not my type. Thank but, you. I mean, I'm just not attracted. That's about it. Um, okay. All right. Um, you have any remarks? What do you think about him? Is he your type? You like him? I don't know if he's attracted to women. I mean, <laughs> the way he look, I wouldn't think. I, I said that. I didn't say it, but I insinuated that earlier. I said, I'm not tripping. He hasn't, he ain't, she ain't, she ain't, that's one thing she ain't, he, he's not attracted at all. Every female that came out, oh, I'm not attracted. I'm not attracted. I'm not attracted. I'm not attracted. She's very, I'm not attracted. Now, okay, he probably had five females who he, he just really wasn't attracted. But, hey, I know I ain't the only one. Hey. Wait, why, why don't you think that he's attracted to women? He's giving me some boy in the way his, he present himself. So, um, I'm sorry, no disrespect. Nah, yeah, but I, get uh, I get it a lot. It's whatever. Um, people think I'm gay for a reason. I don't know. I take it as a compliment because, uh, when I think of gay people, when I see them, they look like they take care of themselves. Well, it's just all the jewelries and pearls, the hair color. He's into hair dye. I mean, it's giving soft boy era. It wasn't my speed. I love a man, man. Like, I like somebody that's, you know? No, yeah. You're going to need a giant. You're going to need, you need a problem. Oh, I look at people like you. That's what I see. Oh, so like a lot of people think that you're homosexual? Yeah, um, my, <laughs> yeah uh, my thing <laughs> is I like pearls, so I wear it a lot and I can probably like give off a different vibe. So, I mean, but I mean, it's, it is what it is. Okay. All right. But can you clarify that? You're no, you I, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm not. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, it's, it's good to clarify that. We want to make sure, you know, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. Okay. That's unfortunate that, you know. It wasn't parent, but we'll go back. No, my signal. I don't be. I mean, he said he not, but I know the fact that I questioned it. I'm not tripping. She picked. It, he picked. It. I know I don't be tripping, man. You said what? So she looked good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's move back and figure out. Okay. Um, if this, if these two other balloons could possibly be a match. All right. So now, this is a time for you to further get to know the guys. They already know a few things about you. So, um, can you please give us a question, um, and then we'll get an answer. Any one of them? No. So you're gonna get a you're gonna give us a question, and based on their answers, you're gonna get, get, go ahead and eliminate one of these people, right? Do y'all mind dating a taller girl? Okay. It's not the first time I dated a tall girl. It's no problem with me whatsoever. We ain't got to worry about that. All right. Hello, my name is Kenny, and I love it. You love it. Yeah, you love being sure. a taller woman. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. All right. I love, okay, right, let's come back. Let's come back. Okay. All right. So, I mean, what do you think about their answers? I mean, it was cute and like quick. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you you have another question. Um, do you have any children? Zero. Okay. Okay. Zero. Okay. And zero. Okay. All right. I, I mean, they're they're all passing. We need a we need a harder question here, right? You land them off the hook too quick. Okay. So, so any, any other question? I'm a bartender. I stay on my feet long nights. Uh huh. I like to get rubbed down for hours. Mm. Do you mind doing that for me? My ankles get swollen. Oh. I, 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 my back hurt. I'm a big girl. Do you mind rubbing me down for hours without? Having an attitude or being upset. <laughs> Sound like somebody man. Now I said I'm just. It's just. It, of course I will rub. Of course it's just everything she do is just going. It's like I'm a bit. You know. It, it, she, she's seven feet. She buff. Like <laughs> just a little jokey joke. 
It's like Scotty Pippen talking about rub me down. Hell, <laughs> damn. Man, go back there and do some suicides. Nigga, let's go get paid. <laughs> Forget that. You ain't rub nothing down. Go to the NBA practice facility. Go ask them. Get you a freaking... She's dog. They want to be... Look, old dude, he want his hair pulled. I see him. Now that, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. If it ain't because of the bartender. Okay, so... so why did you pop your balloon and, you know, you have something against rubbing a woman down? First of all, let me make this clear. I would love to rub you down all the time, mm -hmm. but it's not the place for that. Um, the star tender, you know, the bartender, star tender thing. There been there, done that. I just, again, it's setting a phase in my life. You know, your career choice, your career choice. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I think you're gorgeous. I love the height. I love all, all. It just ain't for me, honestly, right now. Um... He looked like my customers who come at my bars. So I'm kind of confused. And I said it in the beginning that I was a bartender and he let it slide. But then when I asked about the rubbing, he popped the balloon at the rubbing, like me getting rubbed down when I said that I work long hours. So I was kind of confused once again, light skin, flamboyant. So it was kind of like confusing and down. With me, like. That's why I be roasting certain people. Like, that's why she had to get roasted. Cause she came off when my boy. At first, I'm like, oh, is she tall? But then she started putting the insecure word on my guy in the red because he didn't want her. Then it's just like boom, boom, boom. Then she talked about his face, so I talked about her. So I don't want y'all know a lot of y'all. Not a lot of y'all. It'd be a few of y'all in the comments. I'd be like, dang, they really picked that up for me. That I'd be like, you know what I mean? Like I'd be nitpicking or like roasting people for no reason. Probably seen that like one time. So. But just for that one person, if you go back and look, it'd be times I may say a little joke, but I go in when they try to go in on people. That's when I go in. It's not for you? Nah, nah, I just, when you said the star tender thing and I let you finish your thing, I didn't want to be rude and pop you mid-sentence. I wanted to wait till you finish. That's all. I didn't want to be rude and interrupt you mid-sentence. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Disrespect. All right. Okay, let's go down. Up. Have one. Can you go ahead and also answer her question? Rubbing, rubbing her down. Okay, so I'm Kenny, and yeah, I mean, so when it comes to giving her massages and whatever she wants, I mean, I, I would uh, appreciate doing that. This is what I like to do myself. Okay. But when it comes to the occupation, the career, the job, I don't really like that because I've been like, you know, in type of girls. I could take them as friends, but like not like a serious relationship. For sure. How do you feel about that? Um, would you like your man to make sure to love your occupation? And he don't have to love it. He has to know that. I'm just, I went to school for mixology, so. Oh. so I'm um, gonna ask, uh, what actually do you do? You said bartender, like, what's the, like, you know, bartender, they're like different varieties of bartenders. No, she just makes drinks, bro. She makes drinks. She makes drinks. She makes drinks. She tends the bar. Like, when you tend to something, I have to attend to. She's a bartender. Okay. Okay. The type, the club. okay, so what, what's what the type? What, what is the type that you know of? Well, I mean, not, I'm gonna say all type of different types. <laughs> okay, okay. So he's asking, what type of bartender are you? Um, so I currently run a bar in Brooklyn. That's not a type of bartender. Just where does she? I guess, bro. I don't know, bro. We just bartender. You could be a bartender at Chili's. It's just you. Tend in the bar, man. It's called Jigger Jerk Spa. I am the bar manager and I have bartenders. Oh, okay. okay. So it's a part of a restaurant mm -hmm. and I am promoting it crazy, going to radio stations. And also I, I do once in a blue work in the strip clubs and suite and bartender and different things like that. But yeah, and I do big parties as well. Okay. All right. How you feel about that? So good. Okay. All right. So... Can, we, can you come back? Can you come back here? All right. Can y'all two lovebirds come back here? Let's figure out if this could be a match. All right. It's a, a possible match that we have here. Uh, we'll give you an opportunity, right, to ask her a question. Do you have any questions for her? Last minute questions. That's it. So I want to ask you, uh, what's your, are you God fearing? Like, oh, yeah. I was raised in a church. Okay. And uh, I was going to ask if you're family oriented. Um, yes. Two good um, questions. I, I have, well, if you know, Christian family is judgmental. They don't appreciate, you know, me being a bartender, but um, they accept it. And I do talk to my mom and dad every day. Um, my siblings is far away. I don't really get to talk to them. They're married. 
they got their own stuff going on. So I'm the baby. So, but when I do need to clock in with the family, they're right there, phone call away. Okay. All right. I, it seems like you love you loving everything that you're yeah, hearing, right? Sure. Okay. Do you have any questions for you? Um, I want to know your sign. Uh, my sign. I'm a Taurus. Taurus. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. What, what, what do you like about Taurus? It seems like you like Taurus. I mean, I'm an Aries, so we're like right there. Okay. All right. You have you have the last better question? Yeah, I was gonna ask age. I didn't age. hear her age the last time. Um, so. I said I was 29. 29. Right, cool. Yeah. Okay. How old are you? I'm 25. Could you do you mind giving a man you know that is interested in you a chance? Although he's younger than you. Um, it depends on what he has to bring. Do you have your own car? Do you have your own apartment? Yes? Okay. Okay. All right. So is this a match? Is this a match? One more question. Okay. <laughs> what's, 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 Do you want her or not? <laughs> what's the question here? I forgot. I'm cool. Okay. All right. So this is a match. Yeah. All right, so we have our second match. We have our second. All right, you can go ahead and take your queen away. Yeah. All right, if she is six, I don't know, if she's seven feet, I don't know how tall she is. If He said he's six five, y'all. They kid's going to be nine foot 11. Hey, hey golly. Oh. That stretch is fire. Oh, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Another hour video. It's like these hour videos is just coming like. Man, bro, we going crazy, man. I'm, I'm excited with this channel. Um, living my dream, man. I'm living my dream. When I come out, I got this clothing brand dropping on November 18th. I need y'all to go crazy. I need y'all to go correct me. All right, I love you. <laughs>